Hello and welcome to this new series of tutorials about After Effects. I'm Gabriel and uh, I'm in my garden actually, but today I'm going to show you how you can make some triangle looking statistics for your own projects, for your own works, I don't know. And uh, well, he's almost starting to rain, so let's get inside and start this. So here we are back to our infographics and uh, well, let's have a look uh, at what I was saying just moments ago. So you see these triangles here. That's what uh, we are going to recreate today from zero, from scratch. So let's start on uh, Illustrator. Here we have already uh, what I made before. These triangles are just... Uh, uh, the copies of one of each other and then uh, these lines which are giving the coordinates but let's make it again as if if I didn't before so new layer make sure we have the grids oh sorry my my illustrator is in Italian actually so uh, the, the actual option to turn on is um, show grid and from there we can align to the grid and also align to the points so we are easier to make a precise path in our case so let's use the pen tool and draw our line one two that's it and then let's make our triangles always with a pen tool we can make our base um, I don't know like uh, one square and half and then this height but then we can adjust depending on uh, how we want everything to look so this will have instead um, different, not straight, not uh, the actual uh, board, mm, not the actual limits, but uh, a color. And we can place it right uh, on our coordinates. Yeah, maybe um, just, uh, just uh, turn off the align to grid and then you can uh, actually place it well with the uh, arrows instead and also place the layer under the coordinates so it doesn't go uh, on it now I'm going to copy and paste and place one next to the other I'm going to use um, different colors that I found on another infographics I used this infographic and I took the color from here so I just click on one and use this tool and take this color then click on this and use this tool so now we are going here select this um, triangles which are in, a, in just one level and go on these options and say release uh, the, C uh, the, the levels uh, as a sequence and now we have the four triangles divided in different levels so that when we import them in After Effects we are going to have them on separate levels so we can work separately on them let's go on After Effects now and uh, let's import our triangles and um, infographics there we go let's import kind of composition layer size and that's it here we go so this is our actual um, our actual composition ready. First thing to do now is to create a null layer, null object. 
and um, what we are going to put on it is a slider that we are going to use to set the, the value for our triangles. So from there, we'll um, you have the input information that will easily move uh, all the animations without having to uh, scale and move things again. So let's put slider control now no layer and uh, we're going to duplicate this five times all right so we have the slider control on each of these we call this five we call this four and then so now we we have to basically make our triangles scaling up and down not uh, on the width as well before that make sure that the anchor points are all at the bottom of the triangles and uh, in my case i have a tool that i can use this motion to that i'm going to select all of the layers and place dagger point at the bottom of the layer. Um, we also have included our um, coordinates. We're not going to use this, so let's just block this. And um, so this is the first triangle that we are going to use. And then uh, let's uh, unlink the constraint proportion, so we're going to scale only the, the vertical like this, okay? So this is going to be uh, linked to our value. To do this, let's alt click on the, on the clock here and let's go to select slider one, slider control. So from the, the pick whip, we can connect it to the slider here on the first null, law, null um, layer. All right, uh, uh, let's not forget about uh, putting uh, a 100 here on, this, on the expression so that it will remain fixed and it won't move so just uh, let's copy this one of them copy now i think it should work and here we go so yeah you see here it's going over if you go on minus but it's not supposed to go and uh, should be the same on the other levels so what is missing now is to actually connect the, um, the value <clears throat> to a number which is following our triangles so let's write down our number that um, I made in uh, this in this character here let's make gray as as our coordinates all right anchor point in the middle we place it here and we duplicate as always five times actually you have to place it manually on the top of each triangle now you can select use the horizontal center distribution and horizontal center alignment to the selection is better but that's no problem and then we're going to place it again 
on top of this, but uh, they're going to move again, I'm going to say. So now, the point would be that we have to connect our, um, uh, our text value to the actual null layer, as always. So, again this, select the first null layer and we are going to connect it to this. Now it's 100, of course, but if we're going down, it's going until zero, as you see. But it's not enough, I want as well to make it moving and following the triangle. So I'm going to select the anchor point here and connect it as well, in this case, to the scale of, uh, um, of our um, triangle. So let's go to scale, all right, and see what happens now. And I know already it is not going to follow at all, huh? because there is an issue. I still don't know how it, uh, it was created. And so my trick to go around this was to actually, uh, actually move it on top of the triangle and multiplicate it uh, per 3. Place it again, oops. Place it again on top of the triangle. And now we can see that it should be following it until the bottom. Yeah, exactly until the zero, which is perfectly aligned. And the same will happen with the other. Well, I'll make it for you as well. But I think you got the point. And so on, we, you will uh, connect each of these to the scale triangle, multiplicate it per three, and uh, let's use the anchor point here and place it here. You can actually use the align tool to align them. I'm not going to do the same uh, with the others, but you see it's, it's a long work of connecting but after that after that what you have here is these layers that I now now I'm going to put on top of all which are controlling all of our um, triangles actually these layers could be as well placed in a, another composition we can even um, decide to put everything in one layer as well. Well, I didn't, I don't know, it's just your preference. And uh, from there, you can actually control uh, the values. Well, uh, this is the last tutorial about infographics. From the next time, it will be all uh, more about VFX. So more exciting stuff, easier to do as well. This is more mathematic and I'm not the best at it, but um, I hope uh, it was helpful. So that was everything and uh, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe and uh, keep up uh, watching my channel because I'm going to upload a lot of stuff from now. Well, I'll be quite busy sometimes, so well. But anyway, see you next time.